Welcome back to Banner Saga 3. Petrus. Let's see what he has to say. We have not had time for proper introductions. I didn't know if it would be necessary. Are you comfortable with the king's orders? It's not a matter of comfort. I was given as much warning as you were. That's to say none. But if these are the king's orders, I'll follow them. Is there anything you wish to know? Petrus stands at attention waiting for your response. Have you become the guard, Captain Arbrang? He looks uncomfortable and accustomed to talking about himself. I won't bore you with the details. I was an orphan. When I was young and impetuous, I overthrew the vicious bastards who are selling the children in, in the slums. I did twelve killing a man. Kin Manolf made me an honor guard. A few years later, after an attempted coup, I became captain. You may have guessed who incited that attempted coup. Fast rise to power. Power only means you have the luxury of putting your own needs last. Petra stands at the engine, waiting for your response. What can you provide? Several hundred trained fighters, weapons and armor, and access to king should you need it. Several hundred fighters in a city of several hundred thousand. We're lucky for that. Look at Frostvetter or Sporsgard, the wealthy by control. Any upset of the balance and the wealthy families back each other to hack each other pieces over it. Innocent people get caught in the fray. The king is trying to change that in our barang, but it's slow going. Tradition dies hard. And in my experience, many would just prefer to hack each other to pieces in the first place. Why the men off put me in charge? I'm an outsider. It would be above my position to assume, but in my opinion, you answer the question yourself. The king knows the other clans in Arbarn too well, I think. Schemes and secret plots flourish in a, sec a city like this, but your banner speaks for you. Who's better than an indebted outsider to handle the, like, the other outsiders? So you can expect me to do as he says and take the blame if things go wrong too. That's one way to look at it. Aren't the wealthy families in Arbarn going to be upset over this? Without a doubt. You're probably got... Yes, as you say, my men uh, were spread thin already. I'm almost more worried about the clans than Dredge. May I offer some advice? Please do. Rely on me to understand the city. Sometimes men who come from the country see things as a straight path, but Arborong is a circle. If you try to change direction, and suddenly you risk being flung over a cliff. And we are dangerously close to a steep drop. I appreciate your counsel, thank you. Of course, if you need me, I will be nearby. I'll leave. Let's see. You're back, so what was that all about? What did the king have to say? Something about putting aside our differences, and he wants me to try and wring an antidote out of Ruga. Since Manolf is dying, everyone's been let into the city under his protection. I wonder if it if I change my mind like that if I knew the end was near. Is it not? Shut up, you know what I mean. So how are we feeling? How are we feeling about all of this? All of this? Care to narrow it down? She smiles politely, waiting for your questions. What do you do in his position? That's a tough one. You know me, I want everyone to live, maybe even not to hate each other. Ruga's men's are bastard, but I don't think they deserve to die. I'm just glad the Varl are on our side, but I'm not the king. I guess there's not much else to say about it. What's your deal with the Horseborn, anyway? My deal? What do you mean? Oh, you're trying to pretend that, like there's nothing up... I already giggled the first time you saw one. I don't giggle. I pro... Okay. Okay, look, you just don't want to pick this one. Promise? Fine. When I was a girl, I remember my father showing me pictures of horses. They looked amazing. I wanted one so bad. But then he told me they were all killed and totally wiped out. Do you know this story? Legend says the Loom Mother made horses and another god created a horseborn in front of them. But there was a time when both horseborn and horses existed. They see people use horses for farming and carrying goods and wouldn't know how to react. Was it slavery? Were horses like children to them or someone living reminder that they're just dumb beasts. You could ask the same about the Varl. Come on, it's not the same. Varl look pretty different from Yox. No, debate how the Horseborn were made. Anyway, rather than let anyone own a horse, the story say the Horseborn went crazy and slaughtered them all. They fought the humans a bit, but eventually they did far south. They say the Horseborn felt such shame about the massacre that just never turned. Who knows what the truth really is. Up until the moment I saw one, I was never sure the Horseborn really existed. But they're real. They're really real and they're beautiful. And they're causing us all kinds of problems. I'll leave being face in white grin, grin deflates. Tell me about it. What should we do about Ruga? Gods, I wish he just didn't exist. You know, he's not going to just hand over a cure, not without a high price anyway. He's gambling with people's lives for his own benefit. Why do people like him always seem to prosper? Rule comes to those who have a deep desire to rule. You mean madmen. You spend so much time and effort trying to do the right thing and here comes Ruga. You may as well be, st be stabbing children as he goes and people love him for it. But anyway, what can we do? Threats and beatings don't seem to work. The man can take a punch, I'll give him that. Can't kill him either, for mine's sake. 
What does he even want? The throne? What's the point of ruling Arborang for a couple of days before darkness takes it back? I'm sick of uh, thinking about uh, thinking about regardless she can stop thick. We're better get... Yeah, I suppose we should. How are you holding up? You ever t get tired of doing the right thing? What choice do we have? Leave, go south, see what happens. I'm just thinking out loud, some people are talking about ships. After what we saw in Fiskvik, the serpent's blood was eating at the boat, and it killed everything living in the sea. That's not a real option, and we got to rely on each other. Just remember, you always got the shoulder here. Don't try to carry us all on your own. We'll see about that. Alright, I will go see Petrus. I leveled up my characters. Petrus escorts you to the camp, which was set up while you were gone. I know King Manolf asked you to speak with Ruga at once, but after his men ambushed us, I may have been... He's not capable of speech for a moment, and seems like you two have some history. I'll bring you to speak with him as soon as possible. For now, I suggest rest. It's been a long day for all of us. Olive's been waiting for you to return. You can hear her singing and laughing in the distance. Where is everyone? Celebrating for the first time since we left Skorin. We can just stop. We made it. Thanks to you. I don't feel done yet. The droids could easily turn down that flimsy outer wall if they wanted to. And as far as I can tell, we've still got to an no answer to the darkness. What do you think Ivor's doing right now? Probably keeping them all from killing each other if I know Ivor. I know you're right, but I miss him. I feel strange this sudden calm, nothing to do but wait. You're right, I can't even work on Ruga yet, the guard captain went wild on him. Good, on the other hand, what if Minolf dies? Between Ruga's loyalists, the horse born, and the power struggle, the city may turn on itself. The harder we try to grip this world, the faster it seems to slip from our fingers. What if we didn't th think about the rest of the world for one night, are you suggesting? Yes, Rook, I'm very much suggesting. Then I'm very much accepting. Oh, then I guess the celebration will have to wait for us a little longer. <laughs> Why not? The darkness will devour the world. Zephyr? Really? Of all the people. She's the one that darkness gets to leave. hasn't responded to anything I've tried so far. Damn you, Juno! Did you? I can't give up. So, well, I guess we don't control her. <laughs> yeah, I would have been fairly shocked. Ivor, at Strand, really? At Strand, of all the fucking places we could end up. What am I doing here? I left my friends in Arboran and joined the spellweavers Juno and Avent on their journey to undo the darkness and put an end to a world-eating serpent. Juno fashioned a dome of light around us and we pushed into the darkness. I expected desolation. Instead, we passed villages that look as though melted and forests curled like fish hooks. I've had a bad feeling that these things will never again return to the way they once were, even if we succeed. With us came a band of mercenaries, the Ravens, tricked into believing the orders came from their leader. This too feels like disaster waiting to happen. Well, you need to address this now, Juno. Catch one of the ravens staring at you for a third time. The spring between them has become worse, and not yet soon. The longer we control Folka's mind, the worse it'll be when you drop the tricks. The raven you brought with us are hard and mercenaries. They won't take lightly to being kidnapped. There's no enough time to commit some primary. You need their blades and shields out there. What happened out there exactly? Darkness doesn't kill the ramps. There are things hiding out here we don't want to meet. Perhaps I have a feeling they might notice this giant dome of light. I'm afraid it's necessary. It's the only thing keeping the darkness from warping us as well. I'll release Volka's mind soon when they discover they're trapped within the light. How do you expect to play this to play out? They'll be furious. They'll keep things from spiraling out of control. What I've done, I know how it looks. It isn't the way I want things to be. Please, Ivory, put your trust in us a little longer. Just fix this. Believe me, we are trying. Yeah, you ruined the world, you dumbasses. Good job. 
It's Juno and Ivan who did all of this, the darkness. They tried. Apparently, they were trying to make Ivan into a god. The old city on the human world border looms ahead. Twisted into a claw, but still strand. Now, I have to imagine the longboats bringing fish in the harbor and the bustling of merchants hawking goods. An unexpected light from Strand's great hall calls to us from atop the hill. We'll stop briefly to investigate. Well, that provides some explanation as to what happened. Does this? Horrors. Okay, we have a fight on our hands. How convenient. Okay, we got Ivor, Juno, Ivan. I was pretty certain he was level 10, actually, in the save I imported. Whatever, I probably will need to practice whenever I get the opportunity with him. That's not gonna be an issue, really. Okay, uh, take Ivor. You need him? Of all the. Yeah, okay, instead of Bercy, so be it. Oil can be removed if I so desire, but not for the moment. Just in time. Survivors, let's clear these things out. Unfortunately, I need to reposition. I didn't expect that those guys would be the first to, uh, to... F no, actually, I was kind of hoping the ones the on the right... The on the human world border looms ahead. Twisted into a claw, but still strand. Now, I have to imagine the longboats bringing fish in the harbor and the bustling of merchants hawking goods. An unexpected light from Strand's great hall calls to us from atop the hill. We'll stop briefly to investigate.
How the hell do they absorb that?
Well, I only lost that witch, so that's not too bad, too bad, I guess. Another one down. Well, a promotion is nice for him. He actually shows up in the beginning of the first game. Val Valgard. When the quiet comes, it feels unnatural, like being under the water. What happened to these things anyway? I saw uh, breaking the silence. The strange woman replies, Red human, viral, it doesn't matter out here. Not dead, but their minds were gone even before we laid them to rest. The char remains of warped creatures, hobble and fizzle in the light and smell horrible. You take the conversation outside the ruin hall as you descend. Okay. An unexpected place to find visitor. The dredge were trouble enough in strand without being warped into monsters. I wasn't sure we'd ever be unstuck from this abyss, even with our friend's light. Good that you stay put, you won't outpace the darkness on foot. We travel into the wind, not away, to undo it. Onto the darkness. No more men. No mere mender this. This woman's a Valka. But you're not. How do you learn to how to weave the light? I picked up a thing or two on my own. You learn to protect yourself when the menders are trying to kill you. What do you mean by that? My name is Alfrin. Do you know we are travel you traveling with, I wonder? Despite our history, I came this way to seek the council in Manahar. I wonder if the remains of if it found me instead. You can tell Juno is uncomfortable with the implication, but she remains composed as ever. Ivan, less so. You, we need to move on. Time is our enemy. Time itself? Then you only capable allies. I can see it on your face. You wonder, can I trust her? What I'm wondering is why there's so much color in there between you and the big lady with the raven shield. You can line Folka. Oil set swivels back and forth between her and Juno. He's not the only one drawing a weapon. You hear Juno clear it in your head. Be ready. GG. Falka shudders, rubbing her head. Where are we? She groans, no longer. Just trapped in the dark with the treacherous witch. Elise snarks. I knew it, Falka. Her words have been coming out every month since we left Bol at all for Falka's face threat. Turns red enough to smell snow. She screams, and you barely manage to turn aside her spear. Others are drawing away. Respond fast and hard with a show of force. You bull rush Falka, knock her on the ground, and take all you with it. In with the chin of the battery. I see Cyrus back from Mount Play. They're real estate day, but they're trained warriors. They're not quick to back down from the fight. A velvetin velveteen deezness washes over the group. Juno says, If this world is going to start, out, everyone's needed. Folka struggles against her. Who gives you a flying fan about the world? But she makes no move, no moves. When this is all over, slumps. The rebels will get to what so count on that. Everyone shut up. You hear that? This conversation isn't over. All right.
Well, she can't die, so it, what doesn't matter?
Alright. All right, let them move closer. Probably should have uh, retreated a bit more with him.
Well, no denying I handle this extremely poorly. I need to replace the people that... Yep. I need to replace the people that get injured in any of these battles, and I certainly don't want to start with fucking Ivan and Juno, but I have no choice in that respect. That's going a lot better. Weave the energy.
Den egen kvöl i Orsdor. All right, maybe I can, uh, yes, I can. I can just let's kill this one. He dogs Galvar in Hazer Achtavora. I should have just finished it off, damn it. Crap, this is bad. Really bad.
Well, I fucked up with Juno, I forgot you can give multiple movement there. Well, the crit would have been nice over there. Wait, how do I revive exactly? Well, I don't know, us two of them could have done a lot better, but yeah. It's just annoying when the game throws you in a battle and you can't reposition. The battle ends as abruptly as it began in the Discord server. Alright. That wasn't just chance. Maybe all your shouting had something to do with it. No, this was organized strategic, a little too familiar. Listen, Hedwitch, if you're expecting us to play aloud, then you better start playing. We go to Ridgehorn, there we'll find the secret path, a shortcut toward this destination, which is the place where the darkness began. How about a little more? Hold up, are you guys expecting anyone? You'll see it off the horizon, an imposing figure cloaked in white leads a legion of the warped. Can't be, Bolvrecht? How is that possible? We've seen less likely things, but this has troublesome implications. How did things get this bad? Where are the other Valka? Ivan and I went to Manahar. 
Volver came for us with their with vengeance, destroying any chance we had to cover operating with all their Valkal. From where I stood, it looked more like Ivan completely lost his mind. John looks away and returns to her point. Every day the darkness cl draws closer to Arbran. I fear they have no defense against it. Then, what are we doing standing here? Rich horns several days away. In good conditions, maybe I can safely say these are not. If that really is Volric. If it is, let him chase us. It will keep him away from Arbran. They've got enough problems at it. As is. The darkness will devour the world. The dredge, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, I can't get away from them, huh? This won't end peacefully, Petrus says, looking out as the dredge as they squirm trapped between the other walls, uh, arboring in the darkness. The beast corners is when they are most dangerous. Are we much better off? We wonder. Uh, Petrus shakes his head. Not really. They're so bad blood about the refugee situation. It's more than it seems. Speaking of which, he adds, Ruga's talking if it's time to crack at him. Now, well, me. Even chained to a wall, that man is a threat. And our best hope for maintaining order is in the king's safety, Petrus adds. We need that to go. Ruga. You son of a bitch. Roga's appearance reminds you of a well-used practice dummy. Still, he smiles as you enter the cells along oddly. You look pleased with yourself considering you fail. Why shouldn't I be? What was it the king said? I'd never set foot in Arborang? Now look at me. Is there anyone anywhere safer in the world? <laughs> You're really going to pretend this was all part of your master plan. Oh, you thought I only had one desperate scheme. I didn't understand the confusion. Look, it's obvious why they tried to do you in here. Save the king from Rungo's nasty poison check. Queries that the menders can't do it. But before we talk business, do you play Taffle? I'm familiar with the board game. Then you know it's not about the game. The secret is that pawns and kings are just details. It's about being able to see further ahead than your opponent. You know that sinking feeling when you're looking at the table and the game's not over yet. But you know it's over. You've got to... You've got to just sit there and keep playing. Have you gotten used to it yet? Tough words from someone hunting in a cell. Think harder. While I wait simply in my, the cell, my so loyalists gather strength and number. So they're preparing. Main also have his mind to save. If I let him die, his support crumbles. His control of Arborang is over. And if he martyrs me, my men run snarling for the streets. Wolves among our sh your sheep Who will prevail. I think you'll find us far from sheep. The truth is that not everyone wants to be swaddled and told that everything will be fine. My people are unwilling to put their lives in the hands of a weak king trying to make sure we all die e equally, fairly. See, to them, you're not just wrong, you're the enemy of freedom, the freedom to make their own decisions. Believe this, and if you're from me, will come back at you twice as hard. Is that a threat? Okay, I have things backward as usual, I leave. It can work for you if you'll just be reasonable. What are you pre prepared to do for me? What do you want? Just the throne, tell my Nolf if he steps down, if he... He lives. It's that simple. The whole room suddenly s shudders. Screen bursts over the thick of the cell. Walls of the cell. And only lifts herself up to look out the small print around her. Rook, we need to go now. And the walls, it's... What? Another Sunder. What a wonderful situation. Okay, Quastine signing out.